Hi and welcome back to another Geeking with Jody. It's in the news everywhere that Veeam 9 is released. Some articles speak about the new things in it, but I had to go through the release notes and then different files to find out what is new and thought it's good to share it with you guys. As it says in the, if you want to read the main article, you can go to veeam.org slash veeam 90 php or search for the veeam 9 release and go to the veeam.org site. As they say, uh, themselves, the previous version was released in December 2019, version 8.2. And from, where, from then, more than 5,000 different patches updated this version. But now, we have a completely new version. In the Unix world, when the major version changes, it's huge news. Something huge is happening. In this specific version, this important happening is Vim 9 a scripting language. It's a, not a new scripting language per se. It's based on the previous one, but lots of different updates to increase the speed. The speed is 10 to 100 times faster than the previous version. How? By being brave and breaking parts of the backwards compatibility. The problem is in language programming, they always try to be backward compatible. If they had a version here and new version is this one and this one, this should run all programs here. The new version should be compatible with the previous version. If you have written something here, it should run same in the new version. Otherwise, it would be very difficult for programmers, maintainers. People won't trust you anymore to write programs in your new version because they feel that, okay, maybe on the next version you break their program. So many different programming languages keep backward compatibility very, very, very important. Same thing happened for Vim during all long times. But now on Vim version 9, they were brave and they broke backward compatibility. Although they say, don't panic. All your uh, previous programs still will run correctly because uh, Vim still runs the previous versions too. But some of your programs may be in the newer version. They say we had some bad decisions in the old programs. We had different compatibility layers and all of this made our scripting slow. Now that we have written a newer script with uh, some new keywords, well, one which helps a lot is this def for defining functions and arguments for the function and return types should be defined. This makes a huge difference because otherwise your interpreter should interpret all of things, guess, see if this is a function, if this is returning something. But now you are telling it and it's much faster. So by breaking part of the compatibility, they made it much, much, much more faster. Although still the older engine can run your old program. So no panic. As I told you, one new keyword is def. Another one is var for defining variables. You can't break your lines. It was very strange. In the older versions, you were not able to break your lines. You had to go with a backslash to break the lines. Now that's not needed. Also, this is important. If you have ever written large scripts in uh, Vim script, you had this problem about it was very difficult to break them in different parts and files and sections. Now we have a keyword export, which can export a variable or function from this one to the other one. So this makes it much, much easier to break your program in different parts. One of the places that you see this Vim scripts is Vim RC. If you open with Vim and we go with Vim RC, which is for the configuration of the Vim. For example, this is the old school point uh, 8.2 version. This is a comment, which is super weird. Now they have replaced it with a general normal uh, 
uh, hash character just like python language so you don't have this strange and weird commenting style anymore uh, if you want to see more stuff about the scripting new scripting language you can check this link or on a fully installed new vim version 9 do help vim 9 this link goes here which is again vimhelp.org this shows you how the new scripting works it's a large document you can save from the small tiny scroll and let me show you a sample for example this is one sample it says this is a vim9 script if you have a function it uses function for definition this tells the vim to use vim9 scripting to run this should be the not should be but bet yes should be it mustn't be it's better to put it on the first line before any comments anyway if you wanted to review how it works it's good although not all of us write vim scripts uh, the second part if on a new version you do help new 9 or version 9 you will go to this link you will see something just like this link you won't go to the link which describes all the new features as we already discussed the most important part is vim9 scripting language the other part is command line completion in a pop-up menu this is the one where we issuing commands here if you push tab it was showing all the options here very limited space this was the wild menu now if you set your wild options instead of wild menu to pum pop up menu you will have a nicer pop-up menu with more options visible newer uh, color schemas all the color schemas from vim color schemas now present some new options for example cd home if set command cd will uh, take you to the home some other x commands uh, some new functions for example you have map list list of all mappings a dict for each if you are doing programming this may help you or flatten will flatten a list flatten new flatten a copy of a list and these kind of stuff if you wanted you can review all here also some new variables for example number max maximum value of a number or some new auto command events and this is also uh, worthy to note separately the bitwise right shift bitwise left shift so if you have something and you can say bitwise shift it one two five and it was shift bitwise just like c or python does does python have this yes i think so and the falsy operator python bitwise shift yes okay <laughs> it's always good to review your knowledge and in the end if you want to fiddle with it or play with it or whatever you do with the new version of vim uh, you can go through this download from vim.org from vim.org you can go to the downloads and download for your operating system or wait for the updates or install from homebrew sometimes they are not i just checked and mac vim was not on version 9 or if you want to learn more compile it for yourself it says if you want to compile for yourself this is the link you can clone it clone from the git so if you have the git install just do a i will make the fonts a little bit smaller if you want to clone it you can say git clone address from the git 
just copy paste it so you will have it in Vim then it's enough to compile it for building it cd source make this clean clean everything and then make this make will compile all the needed files we link them whatever it not it needs to do based on the make file and at the end we'll give you a executable vim version 9 if you go with sudo make install it will install it on your system i'm not going to install it at the moment because i'm just going i just wanted to show you how to do it i will wait for my uh operating system now it's a mac to do it when it needs for me it's not a big difference between vim version 9 and vim version 8.2 let's wait for this to finish and i will do a smoke test for you okay now it's done our smoke test the smoke test is a verb is a proverb is a term which is used in technical uh, environment if i run the normal vim i'm on 8.2 blah 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 but if i say run here the vim this is the vim i just compiled this is it i can say here run the vim you can see that it has some problems with my schema color also some of my configurations but we are on vim 9 cool and smoke test it means i we ran it and there were no smoke the first try i was jody hope you enjoyed let's see when our operating systems our distributions will move to vim version 9 subscribe that will make me happy and I will continue talking about the news in a little bit more technical aspect. Depth. And I will improve my English a little.